really sounds familiar. Yeah, I love that smile. Okay, um, this song really sounds familiar. Let me look um, some information up on Google. Okay, give me a few seconds, guys. Because I think this was, uh, I mean, it became so popular back in the 1990s. Yeah, I got it. I got that information. 1994. See, I knew it. I knew it. 1990s. I remember now. I remember now. This song was popular here in the Philippines back in the 1990s. Yes. Hello ladies and gentlemen, those in between. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Everett and today we are going to be reacting to another Cho Shen's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and if you're completely brand new to this YouTube channel I would like you to check out my other reaction videos especially my reaction videos to Joshin's videos and if you think they are worth watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button before closing out this video anyway today we are going to be checking out another Joshin's video and this video was uploaded two months ago and honestly speaking I can't believe that I've missed out on this but thank goodness I was able to see this earlier today and this is jo uh, Joshan's cover of the song Dreamer Man, uh, Dream Man or Dreamer and this is a Cantonese classic song and as we all know Joshan speaks um, Chinese and Chinese and Cantonese are not the same languages they are completely different although yeah, some people say Cantonese is more like Chinese, but uh, my Chinese students would tell me that Cantonese language was um, like a completely different language from the one that they spoke, which uh, is uh, Chinese, Chinese, yeah. But anyway, guys, um, hmm, very, very interesting. And he performed this at um, Surprise Night 11.11. Gala 2023 yeah all right so 11 so maybe last November yeah oh, 11 11 November 11 <laughs> but anyway guys I don't want to keep you waiting for much longer with that and if I do let's get started <laughs> all right here we go Joshin hi I'm not an expert when it comes down to the differences between Cantonese language and um, Chinese language. I know that these two are, you know, somewhat similar, I guess, but they are not exactly the same because my Chinese students would tell me that even they themselves had terrible time understanding Cantonese language. <laughs> so, if you guys know Cantonese language, uh, please let me know in the comments section below how you feel about Joshin's Cantonese pronunciation, okay? Anyway, let's move on. This song actually kind of jogs my memory, but I just can't exactly remember when I first heard this song. Or maybe this song 
was um, popular back then, but I just don't know when it exactly was. Because I remember back in the day in the Philippines, um, there were some foreign songs played on the radio, like um, Taiwanese songs or Cantonese songs and even Chinese songs. And in fact, uh, back in the 1990s, there were so many Filipino um, adaptations, more like Filipino versions of Chinese songs because back then Filipinos were pretty crazy about Chinese music. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. This song really sounds familiar. Oh, I love that smile. Okay, um, this song really sounds familiar. Let me look um, some information up on Google. Okay, give me a few seconds, guys. Because I think this was, uh, I mean, it became so popular back in the 1990s. Yeah, I got it. I got that information, 1994. See, I knew it. I knew it. 1990s. I remember now. I remember now. This song was popular here in the Philippines back in the 1990s. Yes. believe I'm listening to Joe Shen sing a 1990s hit. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I'm really familiar with the melody of the song but because it can't sing the song in Cantonese language. Of course, all I can do is just hum along. And one of the main reasons why I love Zhou Shen is that perhaps I'm also a counter tenor wannabe. Although I'm not exactly sure what kind of singer or classical music singer Zhou Shen is. Like he can be a he can be a, um, a counter tenor too because of the quality of his voice um, and that is why I love listening to counter tenors like David Dekuli from South Korea and also Austin Kim from South Korea and both of them are cur current members of Korean male quartet called Fertina yes uh oh sorry about that <laughs> vehicles <laughs> Watching, watching uh, Joshin perform, I think I've already said this before, just really puts a big smile on my face. <laughs> I can't stop smiling, <laughs> even though I don't understand anything. Beautiful voice. Yes, Jo 
emotion. Okay, first of all, um, this song. I mean, when I listened to him sing this song, the very first verse of the song, I knew that I had already heard the song, but I just couldn't remember it exactly. And then, thank goodness, um, I looked up, yeah, just a little bit of information about this song, and I realized this was pretty much popular back in the 1990s, even here in the Philippines. Um, I remember that day, um, my neighbors would listen to Japanese songs and um, Chinese songs and even like this song, Cantonese songs. So yeah, it feels so nice to have um, listened to Zhou Shen sing um, something outside his mother tongue and not his Cantonese language. But I can't really judge his Cantonese pronunciation because I can't speak pronunciation and understand pronunciation, uh, I, I can't understand Cantonese, but uh, for some reason I couldn't help feeling nostalgic while listening to him sing the song. He kind of took me back to my elementary school days, yeah, when Japanese songs, uh, Chinese songs, and Cantonese songs were pretty popular here in the Philippines. But anyway guys, I'd like you to tell me what you think of this video in the comment section below because of course your opinions are also important. So that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when the next video comes out. Peace out!